Hey there, guys. Today I want to talk about something that a lot of us might find awkward or even a little uncomfortable, but it's really important. Erectile dysfunction, or ED. ED is actually super common, affecting around 18 million American men over 20. Some say the real number might be closer to 30 million because it's underreported. And while the risk of ED increases with age, it's not just older guys who deal with it. Many men will experience ED at some point in their lives. But here's the good news. Most of the time, the cause of your ED can be identified and treated. So let's dive into how stress and anxiety can be at the root of this issue. When we talk about ED, the causes can be both psychological and physical. Interestingly, studies show that psychological factors are often the most common culprits. Emotional and environmental factors like stress and anxiety are usually curable. Now, increased stress and anxiety can also ramp up your risk for other conditions that might cause ED, such as heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, and even excessive alcohol consumption. So, how exactly do stress and anxiety lead to ED? Well, you experience three types of erections, reflexive, psychogenic, and nocturnal. Tsaul. These involve important bodily systems like the nervous system, blood vessels, muscles, hormones, and emotions. Stress and anxiety can mess with how your brain signals your body's physical response. Essentially, stress and anxiety can block the brain from sending the right messages to your penis to allow extra blood flow. And guess what? Stressing about ED can actually create a vicious cycle. Experiencing ED might make you more anxious, which in turn can lead to more ED. It varies by age group. Younger men often deal with psychological ED. Middle-aged men face personal and professional stress. And older men might have physical causes, but also deal with loneliness or the loss of a partner. Certain life events can also trigger enough stress and anxiety to cause ED. Job problems, relationship issues, illness, losing a loved one, fear of aging, changes in health and financial burdens, all of these can contribute. One study even found that veterans with PTSD were three times more likely to experience sexual dysfunction. Long-term stress and anxiety can ramp up certain hormone levels that interfere with your body's processes, leading to other health conditions that cause ED. Health conditions like vascular disease, nerve damage, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, low testosterone, metabolic syndrome and prostate cancer can all be linked to ED. Even certain medications can play a role. Lifestyle factors like drug use, smoking, excessive alcohol and a sedentary lifestyle can also contribute. But don't worry, psychological ED usually goes away with time. And for those cases that don't, talking to your doctor can help you explore treatment options. Treatments depend on what's causing your stress and anxiety. So if you're struggling with ED, know that you're not alone and there are ways to manage it. Take care of your mental health, talk to a doctor and take steps towards a healthier you. Thanks for watching and remember taking care of your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Catch you next time.